Hello everybody, welcome to Chance of 505. Welcome to the channel if you're new, or welcome back if you're a lovely subscriber. Today I'm going to be continuing my top 100 album series. And before I begin, I just want to give my usual shoutouts. Of course, I want to give my shoutouts to my friend group over there, the Music Junkies. Thank you guys, you guys have been watching my videos. And my top 100 album series, I always appreciate that. Thank you guys for giving me the views. Uh, you guys have been good friends. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys do a lot to help me through my channel, uh, be a guest and all that. So thank you very much. And of course, got to give my bigger shout out to Jacob Martin and Ryan Cam. Not only have they been watching these, but they have been listening to the album. So huge, huge shout out to them. Always appreciate it so much. Uh, just gives me the extra drive to finish this as soon as possible. And of course, Scott from Sound Lab Studios and Jason Neal Millennial, they have their own YouTube channels and they've been doing their top 100 albums as well. So check theirs out as well. So yeah, there's that. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing album number 29, Sheer Heart Attack by Queen. Yes, another Queen album. Yeah, you're going to start to notice a pattern with, with the amount of Queen albums I have on my list. But yeah, there, there's quite a bit of Queen, <laughs> whether you like it or not. But uh, this album was released November 8th, 1974. My birthday, November 8th, so cool. Uh, I actually did a celebrating 50 years of anniversary. I actually did a celebrating 50th anniversary of that album. So check that video out if you get the chance to. But yeah, Queen, Sheer Heart Attack. This is the third album. Uh, this is their follow-up to their big, big monster album, Queen 2. Wasn't that popular, but nowadays people consider that to be like one of their best albums, if not their best album, some Queen fans. So there's that. Uh, this album marked their first. This is like the album that brought them people their uh, pe people's attention to them with their with a massive single with Killer Queen going to number two in the charts. So this was like when people start to really notice them, that song kind of broke them into the mainstream. So this album definitely could thank that like queen fans could thank this album for bringing them the, the attention that they were so, so willing. They definitely deserve for sure. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into the track list. We get bright and rock open up with the album, which what what a great album opener you got well first you got the great guitar riff which is great very mercury kind of sings weird on this one but i don't care i still think it's pretty cool but to me the big highlight of the song is definitely the that guitar solo in the middle of the song such an epic guitar solo i gotta admit great guitar solo an epic guitar solo for sure uh killer queen i mean this is like their big breakthrough single i mean i love this song who doesn't if you're a queen fan it's kind of hard not to like this song it's like definitely the the again it's a song that broke them into the mainstream i uh, love that guitar solo again another great guitar solo two back-to-back -back amazing guitar solos from brian may tenement funster uh we get our first roger taylor lead vocal on the album. Well, the only <laughs> Roger Taylor lead vocal on the album, but still pretty cool. One of my favorites on the album. Flick of the Wrist. Oh, man, I love Flick of the Wrist. Great Freddie Mercury vocal on here. Uh, such a fun song. Lily of the Valley. I love Lily of the Valley. Such a great ballad to close out the sheer heart attack medley, I call. Uh, now I'm here. Great way to end off side one. It's a big Queen fan favorite, and I could see why it's such a great song. Side two, In the Lap of the Gods. Outstanding song on the album. Uh, it's so weird, so experimentation. It's my least favorite on the album, but it's still outstanding. Stone Cold Crazy, great song. It's like pre-thrash metal. Pretty awesome. Uh, Dear Friends, amazing ballad. It's so, it's very short, but it's really good. It's such a 
short and sweet into the point kind of song. Misfire. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I love this song. I love Misfire. Don't you misfire. Fill me up with the desire to carry on. <laughs> it's the first John Deacon song that was written for a Queen album, so that's pretty cool. Uh, bring back that Leroy Brown. Not like one of my top favorites on the album, but it's still pretty cool. She Makes Me, Stormtrooper, Stilettos, awesome song. And uh, In the Lap of the Gods, Revisited. Epic, epic way to close out the album. Uh, top five, number five, Tenement Funster. Number four, Dear Friends. Number three, In the Lap of the Gods. Number two, She Makes Me. Number one, Misfire. If you have any thoughts on this outstanding Queen album, leave them. Leave your thoughts on it in the comments below. Besides that, thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. So long.